Hey everyone, welcome back to Vision Refocused. I often get asked about the differences between farsighted and nearsighted, so I wanted to put together this video to hopefully provide some clarification. I want to start by letting you know that in order for our eyes to have clear vision, light has to focus perfectly on the back of our eye at the retina. And there's three factors that typically determine whether or not we're going to have clear vision and light's going to focus properly. One is how long our eyeball is stretched. Two is the curvature of the front of our eye, the cornea. And three is the curvature of the lens inside the eye. When someone's farsighted, their eyeball is actually too short to properly focus light. And so when light enters their eye, it actually focuses behind the retina and they have blurry vision. Depending on how short their eye is, reading is definitely blurry and long distance may or not be blurry as well. People who are farsighted tend to use their lens inside the eye to help compensate for the differences in the length of their eye and can often go years or even decades with clear vision without glasses. When someone's nearsighted, their eyeball is stretched too long and light focuses in front of the retina, also giving them blurry vision. When you're nearsighted though, the light that focuses in front of the retina is actually sort of built-in reading glasses. So people who are nearsighted tend to be able to focus up close just fine with no glasses, but for long distance, it's blurry. Most people are born farsighted, but due to environmental and genetic factors, the shape of their eye can change over time. When a person's eyeball is neither nearsighted nor farsighted and has perfect vision with light focusing right on the back of the retina here, we refer to that as emetropic. And these are typically the people who don't need glasses until later in life. Speaking of which, for people who are farsighted or emetropic, it's usually the fifth or sixth decade of life that the reading starts to become blurry. A lot of people are disarmed by this, but it's actually a normal process of aging. And the reason this is, is because the lens inside our eye slowly loses its ability to flex and focus and adjust light as it enters our eye over time. It becomes stiff and inflexible, which basically equates to people having to hold things further and further out to see clearly. So what reading glasses are for is to help the person focus where their lens no longer can. We refer to this phenomenon as presbyopia, and normally people complain about this in their early to mid 40s, but sometimes people push it out into their 50s or even later. It all kind of depends on the three things we talked about before with the length of the eye, the curvature of the cornea, and the curvature of the lens there. People who are a little bit nearsighted tend to push out the need for reading glasses until later because when the light focuses in front of the retina, it's kind of like built-in reading glasses. And in today's world, with increased time on computers and screens and less time spent outdoors, we are becoming more and more nearsighted at growing proportions. So when someone becomes nearsighted, they're typically spending more time up close focusing. So when people are spending prolonged periods of time focusing up close, especially younger people in their teenage years, what happens is the eye kind of gets lazy and instead of over focusing, it just simply elongates to kind of help focus that light. And then now when someone goes to look up close, their eye doesn't have to work as hard, which sounds good in the short term, but what ultimately ends up happening is the eye is now stretched longer, so we can read better, but we no, can no longer see far away. And a lot of times these patients, you know, they just get their eyes checked year after year and the prescription keeps changing and they don't think anything's wrong with that. But what really is going on is as the eyeball is stretching, the, the tissues back here, the retina, is getting thinner and thinner, which increases one's risk for holes, tears, and detachments of the layers back here later in life, which can lead to vision loss and blindness. This is why we recommend taking frequent breaks every 20 to 30 minutes during prolonged periods of focusing up close and looking at something 20 feet away for about 20 seconds or so. We also recommend trying to spend at least a couple hours a day outdoors to try to help your eyes relax and readjust after prolonged periods of focusing at near. So there you have it. I hope this video provided some more clarification on someone who is nearsighted versus farsighted. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.